This is the story of Robert Smalls, a man who was born a slave and went on to hold one of the highest positions in government and become a hero of the Civil War. Robert Smalls was born into slavery in South Carolina. Back then, if a slave had enough money, they could literally buy their freedom. But Smalls wanted to buy the freedom of his whole family, a price that was more than he could afford. In 1862, while working close to northern lines on a Confederate boat called the CSS Planter, Smalls hatched a plan. One night, when the white officers left the ship, Smalls was left in charge. With no time to spare, Smalls took over the ship, rounded up the other slaves and their families, and set sail towards Union waters. But Smalls and his crew would have to pass through four Confederate checkpoints before they would be free. Smalls disguised himself by wearing the captain's jacket and straw hat and mimicking his gait. Having worked on the CSS planter for years, he knew all of the hand signals used by Confederate sailors to pass through checkpoints. The boat passed one, two, and three checkpoints. At the final point, which was also the most heavily armed, Smalls flashed a signal and got the go-ahead. And just like that, Robert Smalls and his family literally sailed to freedom. Towards the end of his life, Smalls returned to the house in which he was born a slave, buying it outright from his former slave master to live out his days. A man who went from slave to one of the most prominent figures in America. <laughs>